everyone. I have another read aloud for you. This is another popular series called Who Would Win? Alligator versus Python. This is written by Jerry Pallotta and this book is read aloud with permission from Scholastic. We are going to compare and contrast both these animals and read who has the advantage so we can make a good guess at the end. So if you want to pause it here and write down what you will be comparing throughout the book, that would be a great idea. We're going to compare their size, their teeth, their camouflage, eyesight, tactics, speed, and skin so that we can make a great decision before the fight on who we think would win. I hope you enjoy it. What would happen if an alligator had a fight with a python? Wow, these are two deadly reptiles. Who is the toughest? Who do you think would win? Meet the alligator. This is an American alligator. It can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. And these creatures live from Texas to North Carolina. A fact, alligators are reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that have dry scales. Snakes, crocodiles, lizards, and turtles are also reptiles. Big fact, an American alligator is the largest reptile in North America. Meet the python. This is a Burmese python. Their scientific name is Python vivitatus. The Burmese python can grow up to 19 feet long. People have seen them swallow a deer, a cat, and a pig. Yikes. Pythons are snakes. Snakes are reptiles. Fang fact, pythons are not venomous. They have no poison. Ancient fact, dinosaurs were also reptiles. Crocodilia. There are four types of reptiles in an animal group called crocodilia. The crocodile. Crocodiles have a V-shaped head. When they close their mouths, you can see a long bottom tooth. Alligator. Notice the wide head. When they close their wide mouths, you can't see the bottom teeth. Gavial. Gavials have a narrow pointy snout. Great for catching fish. And a caiman. The smallest crocodilian. A curvier's dwarf caiman is the smallest. All four types of crocodilia have lots of teeth. We will use an American alligator to fight the Burmese. This one. Big snakes. The Burmese python is one of the five largest snakes in the world. Here are the other four. Reticulated python, the longest snake in the world. Yikes. A reticulated python can be 30 feet long. Green anaconda, the heaviest snake in the world. Wow. Weight fact, a green anaconda can weigh almost 600 pounds. An African rock python, the biggest snake in Africa. Holy cow. Did you know it can grow 20 feet long and weigh almost 200 pounds? Scrub python, another huge snake. Cool. Colorful fact. Snakes come in every color. Snake numbers. There are about 3,000 known types of snakes in the world. Snakes have no arms and no legs. They have no movable eyelids. Behave. The American alligator lives in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Most of these are warm Gulf Coast states. See how the map helps us and shows us where all of those states are where the American alligator lives. An ice fact, an alligator would freeze to death in Alaska. Alligators love water. They live in ponds, lakes, rivers, estuaries, swamps, marshlands, and bayous. They tolerate a little salt water and brackish water, but they prefer fresh water. We know where you live. The Burmese python lives in Southeast Asia. 
It got its name from Burma, which is now called Myanmar. This map shows us where Burmese pythons live. Again, I'm glad they don't live in Nebraska. Oops, some careless people let their pet Burmese pythons go in the Florida Everglades. Now the Everglades are overrun by pythons that don't belong there. They are an invasive species. The Everglades, a huge swampland full of water and tall grass in southern Florida. This is Florida. An invasive species is a plant or animal that lives somewhere that is not their natural habitat. Invasive species usually cause damage and upset the balance of nature. Sorry, sorry saltwater crocodile. You are the biggest, heaviest, scariest, and meanest of all crocodiles. But you are too big for this book. Saltwater crocodiles live in Australia. We'll save you for another Who Would Win book. How about Saltwater Crocodile versus Mosquito? <laughs> Who do you think would win that one? Size fact, saltwater crocodiles can grow up to 20 feet long. Here is an albino alligator. Albino means a lack of skin color. You're out too. Here is the smallest snake in the world, the Barbados thread snake. It can't be in this book either. Sorry, it's too small to fight the alligator. Its actual size is so much thinner than a penny. Reptile fact. Some lizards, such as the island glass lizard, have no arms or legs. They may look like snakes, but they are legless lizards. Typical Burmese pythons have a color design similar to a giraffe. An albino Burmese python is mostly white, but also has some color, usually light yellow and light orange. This fact says a flower pot snake is also small. Oh, now we're going to compare their fangs and teeth. Alligators have huge, a huge strong jaw full of big teeth. They have about 80 teeth, which are powerful weapons. Fact, an alligator's jaw has the bite strength equal to 2,000 pounds per square inch. No human can lift 2,000 pounds. That's a ton. Teeth type. A dentist would say that alligators have conical shaped teeth. Their teeth are shaped like an ice cream cone. Fangs and teeth. Snakes don't chew their food. They have teeth designed to hold dinner. Slowly, their strong, flexible jaws wiggle the food into their mouths and they swallow it whole. Goofy question. Would you like to replace your teeth with a mouthful of fangs? Oh, I don't think I would. I think I'm fine with my teeth now. Fang type. Snake fangs are shaped like curved knives. Yikes! Burmese python teeth are sharp fangs that face inward. It is hard for an animal to escape the bite of a Burmese python. Roll, a great tactic. When an alligator gets hold of an animal, it rolls. This twists the animal and often breaks its arms or legs. An alligator is so strong, it can roll and rip its prey's limbs off. The roll is an amazing move. How do alligators learn it? We can only wonder. Not a fun fact. Yes, alligators have eaten a few people. Midnight snack? Alligators don't always eat the whole animal they catch. They often bury it and eat the rest later. Encircle and squeeze, a deadly technique. Burmese pythons kill their prey by encircling them and squeezing them. They squeeze until the animal can't breathe. Oh no! Yes, Burmese pythons have eaten a few people. Here's a definition. Snakes that squeeze their prey are called constrictors. Warning, don't ever let someone put a python around your neck or on your shoulders. Alligator tail. The alligator has a long, thick tail. The tail is almost as long as the rest of its body. 
it uses the tail to steer and swim. Alligators can only run 30 miles per hour for a short distance. Did you know that alligator can also smack you with its tail? Whack! Alligators are excellent swimmers. They can swim at 10 miles per hour. Do snakes have tails? Not really. Its whole body is shaped like a tail. Pythons are also excellent swimmers. Burmese pythons are faster in the water. They can swim at five miles per hour. Looks like their crawl speed is only one mile per hour. Burmese pythons have about 4,000 muscles. Hidden. Can you find the alligator? He is well disguised in this swamp. The alligator patiently waits with his nose and eyes above water. Alligators cannot breathe underwater. Did you know underwater, alligators close their nose and ears? Bonus fact, usually an alligator holds its breath underwater for about 15 minutes. Alligators have been known to hold their breath for up to an hour. In cold water, an alligator can hold its breath even longer. Here's our question. Can alligators climb trees? What do you think? Camouflaged. The Burmese python is also well disguised. It looks like leaves on the ground. Did you know the python also holds its eyes and nose above water? Lung fact. A Burmese python can hold its breath underwater for at least a half hour. Beware, Burmese pythons can climb trees. Whew, thank goodness, alligators can't climb trees. Did you get that answer right? Food. Alligators eat insects, snails, fish, turtles, and other reptiles when they are young. As an alligator gets older, they eat larger creatures. A young alligator might get eaten by a big fish, hawk, or eagle. Hatchlings, watch out! A baby alligator is called a hatchling. Hatchlings eat insects and shrimp. Old. A grown-up alligator often gets out of the water to grab a huge mammal like a dog, a cow, or a horse. Alligators are good at sneaking up on birds. They have been known to eat a duck, a goose, or an egret. Let's eat. A Burmese python eats anything it can swallow whole. A python can unhinge its jaw, stretch its ligaments, and swallow something bigger than its mouth, usually small mammals, frogs, and birds. A python can taste, smell, and tell the temperature with its tongue. People eat alligators. Oh my gosh, did you know that? I love all the things a book can teach us. Some people eat alligators. You might find these menu items in some U.S. Gulf Coast states. Remember, those are some of the states where al these alligators live. Today's special grilled alligator steak. Juicy charcoal broiled alligator steak. Lightly seasoned, served with grits and fresh beet greens. Or how about alligator fingers and french fries? Lightly breaded, deep fried alligator strips. Cooked until golden brown, served with crispy french fries. Or maybe you want barbecue alligator. Slow smoked grater, gator fillets, dressed with our famous barbecue sauce, with creamy mashed potatoes and choice of vegetable or crisp garden salad. Alligator sausages. Hand stuffed ground alligator seasoned with hot spices, served over rice with roasted red pepper, sweet onion, and Dijon mustard. Oh, I will give you a fun fact that Mrs. Haas has tried alligator before, and I don't think I would try it again. <laughs> People eat pythons too. Americans do not usually eat pythons, but some of us eat other snakes, such as rattlesnake. In other parts of the world, people eat pythons. They say it is delicious. Did you know there is a restaurant in Florida that serves python pizza? 
They also offer frog leg pizza. Question. Has any chef ever made python ice cream, python cake, or chocolate covered python? We don't know. Would you try any of those foods? Alligator skin. Many products are made from alligator skin. They include cowboy boots, belts, shoes, pants, and car seat covers. Rough fact. People say that an alligator's back skin feels like a bumpy truck tire. <laughs> Here's a belly fact. The alligator's belly skin is smooth. Did you know there is a fish called an alligator gar? Here's an alligator looking in the mirror, thinking mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the coolest reptile of all? <laughs> a Burmese python skin. Snakes have smooth, rugged skin. You can often identify a snake by the color and design of its skin. Snakes are not slimy. They have dry, scaly skin. Did you know snakes molt? As they grow larger, they shed their clear outer skin, usually in one piece. Here's the snake thinking. Everglades alligator, you're not persuasive. I'll soon be king because I'm invasive. Do you remember what the word invasive means? I see you. Alligators have excellent eyesight. Feet. Alligators have strong legs, tough, ugly feet, and long nails. They are great at digging holes to bury uneaten food or dig pools of water. Here's their rear foot and four toes. Their front foot has five toes. I sense you. Python brains see a visual world and a thermal world. Did you know pythons have heat sensors in their mouths? They can see your heat. Definition, thermal means heat. No feet. Snakes don't have feet. Snakes slither along the ground on their wide belly scales. This is the bottom view of a python, python belly scales. Okay, it's time for our fight. Did you take a, a list of who has the advantage in all of those areas as I read? Make your prediction of who would win this fight. A Burmese python and an alligator meet each other in the Florida Everglades. The alligator bites the python, but the huge snake is not the type of food the alligator likes to eat. It has a strange feel. There are no limbs to rip off. He lets the snake go. The python spins around and encircles the alligator. The fight takes a long time. The snake starts squeezing the alligator. The alligator flips and tries to roll away. The alligator tries to bite. The python slips away. After a long battle back and forth, the alligator gets tired. The snake encircles the alligator, then unhinges its jaw and starts swallowing the alligator. The python's strong jaw and throat muscles keep on pulling in the alligator. The alligator can't breathe. The snake swallows the head. Then it swallows the alligator's body. Its legs are rugged and tough to eat. The python finally gets the alligator's tail in its mouth. It's an ugly sight. The alligator is dead. The python has a belly ache. It will take a month for the python to digest it. But the python won this fight. Is that what you predicted? That was a great book. This is one way the fight might have ended. How would you write the ending? Maybe you can write a different ending to this story. I would love to see them.